Hey everybody, it's Miss Morris, and I am going to be giving you your welcome for class. So, here we are on our page for period D. What you're going to do is you're going to click Wednesday. You're going to see that we start with the welcome and objectives. This is where you found this video that you're watching right now. So, as an overview, our objectives today. I will be able to independently write and submit four inferences and complete sentences using the sentence frames. That's just finishing what we started yesterday. And I will be able to write a full sentence sharing whether I believe Vinny will jump or not and my reason why in a discussion post. Your to-do list is to submit the reading and inferencing now it's your turn assignment and to make a post and reply in the discuss share your opinion discussion post. Remember, if you want to, you can just click next to go to the next thing. If not, you can go back to the folder for today and click through that way. I'm just going to click next. Here you will see the assignment we started yesterday. In case you needed an extra review, for the last few days we have been reading the ravine we have been working on inferences. Now it's your turn to work independently on making inferences and explaining your answers. Read through the four slides below and answer all the questions in a comment or submission. So you guys are just going to be doing this in a submission instead of a comment. I will fix that once I post this video. So these are the sentence frames that you can use and they're going to be right in your document when you open it up, when you click my document. So you'll see when you scroll down I put a copy of the rubric and here's where your responses go. So you can just simply left click drag, control C, and then down here, Control-V, or you could simply erase this and erase this and write your answers right here. Either way, I'll be able to see what you were doing. And then remember to exit out of your document, it saves automatically. You just click this little X, and then when you get here, instead of Edit, you click Submit to submit your assignment. So I've already had a couple of people, four people, submit their assignments, they wrote all their answers, so Liz Mar right here, she wrote all of her answers, looks good. I'm not going to show you exactly what happened because I didn't ask Liz Mar, but yeah. And I can see all the people that are in progress currently. I think there's only two people that haven't opened it yet, um, Lewis and Ashley. If either of you guys need help, please let me know. And down here it just shows you your rubric. For a 20, you give all the complete answers. For a 15, you give 3 out of 4. For a 10, you give 2 out of 4. And then for 5, you only answer one question. Alrighty, so click on the date to get back to the folder. Just so you know, when you're working on your assignment, and you have it open, so say I have it open right here. Then I go back, click on the date. And you can pull up what you're reading right here. Remember, you can read it by clicking on Read. Or, if you don't want to read it on your own, you can click Listen. And this will bring you to the YouTube video that I recorded reading it. Use either one to answer your questions. Then, once you've finished, you've exited out, gone back into your assignment and clicked Submit, what you're going to do is come down to this discussion post. Discuss, share your opinion. Click there. Based on what you've read of the ravine so far, do you think Vinny is going to jump? Why or why not? Five points. Just for that part. Then, once you have posted your answer and reasoning, reply to one classmate's post with whether you agree or disagree with their opinion and why. Five points. An example of what that could look like is, I agree with you because I thought the same thing. Or, I disagree with you because I think Vinny will want to jump to impress Darlene. Right here is your rubric. I'm going to have rubrics for pretty much every single assignment we do so that it's very clear exactly what I'm looking for. So you'll see that your post, you'll get your full five points if your post is written in one or more complete sentences that states whether you think Vinny will jump and explains your reason why. If you have a three, you are missing one of those things, so... You have one complete sentence, but it just states whether you think he jumps, you don't explain why, and then a one if you share just your opinion, but it's not a complete sentence. Then for your reply, to get all five points, you reply to a classmate, you state whether you agree or disagree with them, and explain in one or more complete sentences. 
to have a three, you just say whether you agree or disagree, and it's not a complete sentence, and then for one, you just don't do a reply at all. So to get your full 10 points for this post, make sure you put your post with whether you think Vinny will jump and your reason why. So for me, I think Vinny will jump because he wants to face his fears. Obviously, this isn't really the vibe we're getting from this story so far, but that's just an example. That would give you your full five points right there. You can write more if you want to, and then your reply needs to be like one of these two I have up here. So that's all you need to do, just those two assignments, and submit them. I will grade them as they come in. Please let me know if you have any questions, and remember, if you go to groups, and you go to Cluster 5 office hours, and you click on conferences, I will be right here at 1045 to 1145 to help in ELA to walk you through anything you need, and then again from 115 to 215 to help you with anything you need. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.